Hello, it's another week of Pick a Card Reading, and for today's topic, we're going to ask what good news are coming in. So, for our crystal option, we have Citrine. So, choose a Citrine. This is for group number one, and that is a Citrine Tower from Congo. And then we also have here Citrine Tumbled Stone. Very clear. And lastly, we have a Citrine Cluster from Congo as well. All right. So those are the three options. Take your pick. Once you're ready, click on the timestamps below. Okay. Group number one, you have chosen Citrine Tower. Let's go ahead and find out what good news are coming in. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective we chose, group number one. All right, we have here Queen of Swords. Ace of Wands. Let's put this here. There you go. Wow. Six of Wands. Beautiful. Three of Swords in reverse. Ten of Swords. Oh, my gosh. The Star. I so love this. Bottom of the deck, we have King of Cups. Okay. So here's what I'm seeing in group number one about the good news that are coming in for you. Well, obviously, you are off to a new start, right? Especially that we have the Ace of Wands over here. And they're also showing me here that you have ended something or you're just about to put an end to something. Whether it's also talking about finally a very difficult and heartbreaking situation that has happened for you is coming to an end. And you're moving towards a brand new beginning, all right? Maybe some of you felt as if that you're powerless. You're feeling as if that there's no hope in your situation. I'm kind of like also getting that energy. But fret not because they're actually showing me here that because of your resilience, because of your discipline and your strengths, I tell you, this very challenging and tough situation that you have been through or still going through is about to come to an end. And that's the good news that is about to come your way or that is happening for you. You will be successful at it, all right? For others of you, I'm also getting here that if this is all about career, you will be recognized. That's really what I'm picking up, especially with the star card and the six of wands. So either this is talking about your current job right now, or if you're about to move towards a new job or a new career opportunity out there, this new career opportunity will offer you so much, all right? So much that you'll be very, very grateful for it, or that you will also, again, be recognized for your efforts, or you will become successful in this particular job or career. So again, whether this is your current job right now, because I'm hearing for others of you, you have ended something. So for those who are resonating with, yes, I've already changed jobs or I'm looking for a new job opportunity. They're showing me here that this next job offer opportunity for you, I tell you, you're going to make it big. All right. You will be recognized. You will stand out. That's what I'm getting. But to put it in a general way, the heartache, the sadness, all right, the pain that you have felt in the past will come to an end or you're finally putting an end to it. So let's actually move on to the next set of cards. What else? What good news are coming in for group number one?
Okay. You got innocence. Co-create. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then angel of strength. So here's what they're actually showing me about the good news that are coming in for you. And this is definitely divinely guided and protected. For a lot of you, I'm picking up it had something to do with career. All right. And for most of you as well, this is something new. And if you're resonating with, you are trying to explore new career possibilities out there or new opportunities out there, they're actually showing me that this new job or this new career will offer you so much happiness, all right? It's like you're just a child with innocence. You're just like a child playing, all right? You're enjoying what you're doing. Perhaps in the past, you're just actually in a type of career because of you don't have any choice, all right? Either it's because of this is a job that just pays the bills, but you're not necessarily passionate about it. So what they're actually showing me here is that this new beginning, this new chapter of your life will offer you a lot of happiness and joy. This will also be helpful or beneficial to your inner child as well. That's what I'm getting. I'm also picking up very strongly that this will also kind of like, yeah, um, bring the creativity that you have inside of you into play, all right? I'm also getting that you might be kind of like collaborating for others of you. That's also the vibe I'm picking up. There's something about exchanging ideas or there's something about collaboration. Maybe you'll be partnering up with another person. I notice there's always like, yeah, with this image of the innocence card, there's actually two unicorns. And then we have here this cheetah and then this L and then we have this angel and then lion. So yeah, there's something about partnership. Okay, this is a successful partnership, whether this is a business partnership or you will be kind of like, yeah, working with another person. And this partnership or association is going to be really successful. Both of you are really going to be benefiting from each other. Okay, wow, I love this. Let's try to pull up more. What good news are coming in for group number one? Yeah, I was just talking about, oh my gosh, partnerships, associations, and all that. Guess what? You got new supportive connections. There's a lot of element of newness for group number one. I noticed that. Remember at the very start of this reading, I said that you guys are really ready to start something new, or you're off to a brand new journey, or a new chapter because you've ended something, okay? Okay. Or like what I said, it's just basically talking about like all the hardship, the struggles or trials that you have been going through for a long time because that's what I'm hearing. It's not like it just happened for like two weeks. I'm hearing for a lot of you, you've been going through this really tough cycle for a long time and that is coming to an end, all right? So I see you guys either changing careers and this new job or this new career, just like what I said earlier, is definitely blessed by the divine. And this is definitely going to be making you so happy. It doesn't feel like a job is what I'm hearing, all right? Others of you would be venturing into business, by the way. Or if you're already into business, then this partnership is actually going to be so successful, all right? Maybe there's something about blending of ideas, because that's what I'm picking up with this co-create card. And for others of you, with this new supportive connections, the good news that are coming your way or coming in for you is that you'll be meeting like-minded people, all right? 
This is not just particularly around love, but it can be for others of you. Somebody who's actually on the same page with you, somebody who supports you. Yeah, both of you are interested in the same things as well. So that's why I'm picking up like-minded people, supportive connections. Wow. Let's try to pull up more. What good news are coming in for group number one? Okay. You got a personal issue reaches resolution. Isn't that great news? This is very straightforward, you guys. I don't need to explain it. So for others of you, this is actually the good news that are coming in for you. Whatever personal issue that you currently have, all right, you'll be able to overcome it, all right? It reaches resolution, it says here. Beautiful. Let's see, what else? Yes. And then he got base chakra. So there's really something about security. Either you would be in a place where you're actually feeling a lot more secure this time. You're feeling more confident. You're feeling safe. All right. Again, whether this is time about this new job opportunity or whether this is actually time about a beautiful connection that fills you with a lot of emotional security as well or happiness. Wow. I love this. I love how straightforward this is. Let's pull it more. What good news are coming in for group number one? You got purity. Okay. Enlightenment. Okay. Let's get another one first. And then let it go. Okay. All right. So based on these three cards, what this is telling me, group number one, is that maybe currently or in the past, it's kind of like hard for you to see things. All right. But with this card enlightenment, they're actually showing me that you'll begin to see the truth. You'll begin to see what's kind of like hidden beneath the surface, all right? So there's something about you uncovering something, something that was hidden from you or something that didn't make sense to you before. But since you got the enlightenment card, this will actually give you clarity. This would actually also help you to finally release or let go of something that maybe you are still holding on to. For instance, maybe in the past, all right, it's hard for you to kind of like see things clearly or you're not wanting to see it because I'm drawn to this lady over here. Her eyes is covered by this white cloth, right? So it's hard for her to see something. And with the snow, it's like something is buried underneath the ground or underneath the snow. So I'm getting that something is going to be making sense for group number one. And whatever this is, this is going to help you to finally move forward again with this image of the ship or for you to finally let it go. Whether it's you releasing toxic connections or maybe this is something that you've done already or you're releasing something from your past that no longer is serving you. So they're showing me that the good news that are coming in for you is that finally, all right, you will be in a place of peace, all right? And it will also help you to begin to attract new opportunities out there, whether it's new job opportunities or new like-minded people, right? That's what I'm getting based on these three cards. Beautiful. Let's try to pull it more. What else? What good news are coming in for group number one? Rest and rejuvenate. Okay. Well, ascension. All right.
and then play. Okay. This is crazy. You got the innocence card, which is something related to childhood, right? Or this childlike wonder. Now we got the play card over here. So like what I said earlier, what I specifically heard is that if this is all about career opportunity or life purpose, you are being led towards the correct path for you. This is something that is blessed by the divine. You're getting the support of your ancestors, all right, or your spiritual team, because this Ascension card is also talking about spiritual support. And so this new career, because that's what I heard earlier, is not only going to be filling you with a lot of joy and happiness. This is something that would also make your soul feel at peace or you're feeling fulfilled, all right, in all levels, whether it's financially, mentally, emotionally, that's what I'm getting. And it doesn't feel like a job. That's really what I got. For others of you, what I'm also hearing very strongly is that somebody watching this pile, either this is you who's ill, all right? I'm getting that. Somebody is ill. So whether this is actually the viewer or somebody who's dear to you, know that healing is taking place. That's good news. It may also involve a child for others of you, because again, I'm drawn to these two children over here. Or a sibling. That's also what I'm getting. But there's something about healing. So whether this is the viewer or somebody dear or close to you, know that healing is taking place. And again, you guys are actually being divinely guided and protected. Another message that's coming through, by the way, for those people who are watching this pile and you are doing some sort of like a spiritual career, I'm not going to be surprised if some of you are actually healers. And yes, you've been through a lot because that's part of the package. That's part of your purpose in which you are definitely going to be going through a rough lot. You'll be experiencing a lot of trials or setbacks, but that's part of it. And you are accelerating. That's what they're showing me. That's the good news for you. You are ascending, okay? It's like you're moving towards the next level now. Wow. I love this. All right. Plus, with this play card, they're actually, again, showing me that either you will be meeting a new person, okay? Because you got the new supportive connections card. And this play card is also tying about being around people who actually fills you with a lot of happiness and joy because this is something that you truly deserve. So whether it's you meeting new friends or whether this is a new romantic partner, all right? But it's just somebody who's on the same page with you, somebody who shares the same core vision. So it's a great partnership, in other words. And again, there's two people here. Earlier, you got the cheetah and the owl. You also got the baby unicorn and the mother unicorn. So there's something about partnership. Haven't you noticed that? Even with this image over here. Yeah, there's this animal over here and there's this lady. So I'm really getting something about partnerships. Okay. So let's try to pull up more. So either it's you partnering up with the right people this time. And again, this is not just tied to love and romance. It can be a business partner. It can be a new friend. Somebody is going to be of support for you. Patience. All right. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So maybe you've been patient. All right. And finally, the thing that you've been patient on or waiting for, it's coming. All right. This is the good news for you. Finally, it's coming because you've been patient.
All right. You got the Queen of Water. Some of you are water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Earlier, you got the Cancer. So maybe some of you watching this pile, you have that in your chart somewhere. Oh, my gosh. And then you got love. Oh, my gosh. I love this. I love this as well. So... For those who are single, you've been patient, you've been doing a lot of inner work. Now it makes sense because you got the three of swords in reverse. And four of swords with this rest and rejuvenate card is also talking about healing, right? So you've healed from the past and now finally you're ready to be led towards the right partnership. It can be a love partnership, all right? So yeah, I don't know is this for... But what I specifically heard from Spirit, it's for those who has done the work already. You've healed from the past. You've healed the trauma. You've learned a lot of lessons from the past. You are loving yourself more. Yes, I tell you, the good news that is about to come your way is that you are now ready or you're being led towards this right partner for you. Oh my gosh, I love this for you, group number one. Let's see what else. What good news are coming in? Sad Embrace, okay. Let's pull up another one. Next, you have Clarity, all right. And then Nightmare. Okay. So here's what I'm seeing based on these three cards. For those who are actually resonating with maybe you are actually going through a rough lot or you've been going through the dark night of the soul is also what I'm hearing. Or, yeah, you've been experiencing a lot of dark times because that's the energy I'm getting with this nightmare card and the sad embrace card. So what I'm actually picking up is that the good news for you is that something is going to be making sense. Just like what I said earlier, some of you are also going to be realizing with this clarity card over here that, yeah, I don't need to be so hard on myself. Yes, I experience pain. I'm a human being. I experience grief. I experience sadness. But I have a choice not to stay where I am, right? Suffering is also optional. So I'm getting that very strongly, especially with all of these three cards. Somebody is going to be realizing that. That yes, pain is inevitable. We all experience that. But I do have a choice, all right? I do have a choice to break free from this. I can embrace it at one point to honor the feelings, to honor the pain, the sadness. But then afterwards, I need to let it go because you got the let it go card earlier. Because somebody watching this pile with this clarity card, you will be realizing that I don't need to be so hard on myself anymore. That I have the power to end this suffering by changing the way you see things, all right? So there's some sort of like an aha moment for some of you, all right? And this aha moment, this wake-up call is going to finally help you to release whatever it is that's putting you in this situation of you're really sad, you're feeling traumatized, you're thinking as if that you're hopeless in your situation, you can't do anything about it. That's more of like what I'm getting here, but something is definitely going to be making sense, which will help you to get out of this really, really troubling situation or dark situation. Okay, let's try to pull up more. What else? What good news are coming in for group number one? You got strength.
Next, you have Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's really something about patience. Oh my gosh. You're ready to reap the rewards, okay, of your hard work. It's harvest time. That's really what I'm getting. My gosh, group number one. This is beautiful. It's really worth waiting for. What is this? And then you got, wow, 10 of pentacles. This is so freaking beautiful. So, Based on these three cards, what they're actually showing me here is that for whatever effort that you have planted, you planted the seed, right? Just like with this garden over here, you're ready to reap the rewards, okay? It's harvest time for you. And this is something big. This is actually something that will actually give you financial or material security as well. And Ten of Pentacles is also talking about not only around wealth or not only around financial security, but it's also talking about peace and contentment in life, all right? You will be in this place because you've been patient. You've been working hard. You are a strong and determined person. And so your hard work, in other words, is about to pay off. And Ten of Pentacles is also talking about legacy. So I feel that whatever this is that you have planted, this is something that would last for a long time, if not for a lifetime, all right? I'm also getting here as well that, yeah, somebody watching this pile, part of your good news is that there's something about healing of a family member or a child. Because I keep on getting that earlier. I don't know who is this for. So either this is actually the viewer, like what I said, or somebody around you, somebody who's dear to you. But I keep on picking up it's a family member. Know that there's healing taking place. Healing, recovery. I'm really getting that. For others of you, I'm also hearing that part of the good news that is coming in for you is that a really difficult family situation, not necessarily somebody's kind of like sick or ill, but maybe some family issue will be resolved. I keep on hearing that as well when I saw these three cards. Some of you are going to be putting an end, all right, to a cycle that kept on repeating within your family or generation, okay? It's like you are going to be planting a new seed. That's really what it hurt. Wow, I don't know who is this for. You're changing things. You're breaking a toxic or negative cycle within the family whether this is talking about generational trauma, I also got that. And you'll be starting something new, okay? And that's why I got this Ten of Pentacles or something about legacy. You're changing something. I don't know what is this for, but that is beautiful. All right, let's try to pull up another set of cards. What else? What good news are coming in for group number one? All right, you got time to go out and have fun. Oops, a lot of cards. Two for this first set. You got the flag card. Then you got ladder. Beautiful. So with this grapes card, I see you guys having fun or being a place of happiness, just like what I said, peace and contentment, or having this light-hearted, carefree time, whether it's with your friends or your loved ones, because it says here, time to go out and have fun. But I'm also picking up that some of you are also ready to go out and meet new people out there or date 
new people. Okay. That's really what I'm getting with this grapes card. And you're not going to be lowering down your standards. There's something about self-worth or value. Maybe you've learned a lot from the past. Okay. You're more cautious now, or you're more careful, not highly selective, but you're just being very careful because of what you've experienced in the past. You want to make sure that you're surrounded by the right type of people or that you're dating a person who's actually going to be treating you right, who really understands your value or your worth as well, because you've learned from the past. Now I got the ladder. My gosh, group number one, you've grown so much. That's really what I'm hearing here. And thanks to your past. So even though your past was really, really um, scary, remember the nightmare card? It was really scary. It was really traumatic. But you've grown so much. No wonder you got the ascension card because that's the same energy I'm getting with this ladder, right? It's like you have graduated or you're about to elevate towards the next level here, okay? And then for others of you with this ladder card, you are climbing towards success for sure. You're in the right path. You're being led towards the right path that will bring you success. Whether this is talking about your job, all right, or career. Let's try to pull up another set. What good news are coming in for group number one? Wow. Pay attention to the month of April, you guys. So for some of you, this is most probably going to be happening around April. This is a timeless reading, by the way. So anytime you bump into this video, but the month of April is very, very significant. Or springtime. Okay. Wow. Let's see. What else? Yes. Yes, this is really interesting. You're cutting something. You're letting go something with the axe card over here. Okay, you're putting an end to something. For others of you, what I specifically heard, but it can't just be for one or two people out there. There's something about, yeah, kind of like putting an end to some toxic repeating cycle or pattern or even generational trauma, all right? And you're starting something new. You'll be the one to start it. You're changing. You're making history. That's why I got the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, this is so beautiful. Let's pull it more. Then you got the store card, news of a birth. So for some of you, that's the good news that are coming in for you, something around news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Wow. Okay. Let's pull up a fortune card for you guys before we pull up some messages. Let's try this one first. Going back to what I just heard earlier from Spirit, for whoever this is, in which what they're actually telling me is that somebody watching this pile, you are about to write a different story, okay? You're definitely going to be writing a different story, um, and that's because you are closing out some cycles. Yeah. And something to do with generational trauma, all right? You're going to be starting something new in which your future generation or the future generation will benefit from this. Yeah, I really got that for someone out there. Way to go. Wow. Then you got challenges. Okay. So let's go to page 13. It says here, gaining strength and overcoming obstacles will make you a winner. So what is the good news coming in for you? that you'll be able to overcome this really heavy challenge, all right? You will emerge as a winner, you guys. So it says here, selecting this card reminds you that it is time to face your fears head on. 
you will have the confidence and the ability to solve your problems. You could be feeling overwhelmed and hopeless, see? As demanding situations put strain on your health or cause you a lot of stress. This is a good time for making positive changes and having the strength and courage to move forward successfully. We were just talking about that at the very start of this reading. So you will be dumbfounded by what you can achieve over the next 12 months. Surround yourself with upbeat people and avoid negativity at all costs. There is no room in your life anymore for people who do not support and maintain you. That's why you got new supportive connections. And with the Axe card, you're actually, yeah, cutting ties. You're letting go of anybody who's no longer, yeah, resonating with you, all right? You're not on the same page. You're not actually of the same frequency anymore. You wanted to attract or you want to invite people who share the same core vision, right? So that's beautiful. So with this challenges card, it's very straightforward from spirit. The good news that are coming in for you is that you will have the strength as well as the confidence to overcome this particular obstacle or challenge that you're faced with. Now, if it's all about problems around finances, or business or career, then they're actually showing me here that, yes, again, you'll be able to control um, or have more control over your life or gain control over your life or your future. And you will also see a training point around your finances. Now, for those who are worried about a career issue, you will also have the confidence to ask for a pay rise or a promotion. All right, because again, remember the flag card? That is a card that talks about that you're not lowering down your standards, right? Because you know your value as well. So if in the past you're kind of like a little bit shy in asking for a pay rise or, or anything, all right, because of you don't really kind of like value yourself that much, that's about to change, all right? Because now that you understand your worth, you understand your true value, you will have the confidence, all right, to go for what you really deserve. Whether it's actually getting the type of salary or the amount of money that you should be earning or you deserve to be around the right type of people, that's what I'm getting here for you guys, all right? Now, if it's all about relationships, it says here, Difficult situations around relationships need to be dealt with now or never. Do not hold back or block your feelings. The time to communicate and get things off your chest is now, okay? By speaking up, problem relationships could become better or released. So either it's going to become better or it will be released. Especially if there's no longer any positivity within the relationship. For others of you... You'll be able to help young family members overcome their personal challenges, all right? Or they're also showing me here as well that, yeah, any difficult situation or any difficult um, challenge that you're faced with, they're actually showing me that you will have the strength, just like what I said earlier, you will have the strength to finally overcome it or either you will actually be given some sort of like a possible solution, all right, to your present problems. So there you go. I love this for group number one. Um, before we actually end this reading, let me just get a message for you guys. Yeah, let's pull this up for you. Any message for group number one, please? Well, you actually have... Well, this one is not included. <laughs> you have two cards that flew. Oh my gosh, you got positive change. But let's start off with a forgiveness card. So here's your message. It says, holding on to a past hurt is preventing you from moving forward and achieving your heart's desires. Let it go. Oh my gosh, crazy. Remember this? 
It says, let it go. You saw me shuffle. I can't make this up, you guys. So somebody really needed to hear this message. So it says here, let it go. Forgiveness does not mean that you condone another's actions. It simply means that you're no longer willing to be a perpetual victim to a particular person or event. Blame is a waste of your precious energy. Bless and surrender the past, for in doing so, you will reclaim the joy of life. Do you still remember group number one about what I said around, yes, we all experience pain, suffer or pain and hardships or heartache and grief or sorrow, right? Because you got the sad embrace card earlier, but suffering is also optional. So somebody needed to hear this message with a forgiveness card. It's about time to let things go. Otherwise, you'll be stuck where you are. All right. It will prevent you from moving forward by holding on to the past. So maybe this is also part of the good news for you. Some of you will actually have the courage now to release it, to embrace the truth, and then finally release the past or lovingly surrender the past, which will then give you peace of mind. Okay. So for others of you, Expect that positive changes are about to happen. This is the good news for you, okay? Let me actually read it too. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. So for some of you, you really needed to hear that message, all right? They can please everyone and that you have to embrace your own unique self, okay? But with this positive change card, I'm really picking up that this is the news that are coming in for you or the good news that are coming in for you that you will be seeing some positive changes happening in your situation. But maybe some of you also needed to let go of something first because you have a lot of cards around letting go of something, or you even got the ax card, like you need to cut up, cut up something or cut away something. So yeah, in order for you to see some positive changes to occur in your life. But yeah, that's all about it. Group number one, I hope you enjoyed this. It gave you some help, or it actually gave you motivation as well. And I'll see you next week. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Well, hello, group number two. You have chosen citrine tumbled stone. Let's go ahead and find out what good news are coming in for you. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which chose group number two. Let's see. Okay, what is this? Death. Five of Pentacles. Four of Swords. King of Cups. Knight of Wands. And you got Six of Wands. Bottom of the deck, you have Queen of Cups. Okay. So here's what I'm actually seeing for group number two. What I'm actually hearing is that somebody watching this pile, either this is somebody around you or this is actually also the viewer, but I'm more of like picking up it's another person, okay? So if you're resonating with maybe there's somebody around you who's sick or who is ill, because that was so strong, I also got that for group one, okay? So for whoever this is for, and whoever this person is, 
who's actually ill or is down with some sort of like illness, they're actually showing me here that this person will recover. Okay. I keep on hearing the word miracle. That is so beautiful. I'm getting here that this person will resurrect. I, I keep on getting that. Like this person will feel renewed. There's something about rejuvenation. Okay. And maybe some of you guys are kind of like really feeling so worried sick, thinking that maybe this person is going to die with a death card over here. And then he got the abandonment card, but they're actually showing me here that this person is going to be surviving. All right. I keep on hearing the word survival. And that's because of the power of prayers because four of swords is also related to prayers in the traditional tarot. It actually shows a guy lying down and he's actually praying. Okay. So I'm getting here that, yeah, for whoever this is for, whether you are praying, you're worried over a sick person or somebody who's ill, I tell you, your prayers are actually heard and it will be answered because they're showing me here that this person will recover. And it's like this person is feeling brand new. Another message that's coming through. It's related to a past wound, all right? It's related to some heartbreak. And maybe some of you are having a hard time acknowledging the truth. Some of you are having a hard time letting go of the past. And so what they're showing me here is that the good news that are coming in for you is that you will finally have the courage to move forward. That's the good news for you. You will have the courage, the confidence, and the bravery to allow yourself to lovingly surrender the past and to continue to move forward. So that is still healing. I noticed for group number two, it had something to do with healing. So whether it's you healing from past wounds and you're finally able to let go of things from the past, because you're ready now to move forward. For others of you, if somebody's actually feeling sick or somebody is down with some illness, yes, I'm getting here that healing is going to be taking place or somebody's going to be recovering from a really, really serious illness, to put it in a simple way. Wow. This is quite interesting. Let's try to pull up another set of cards. What good news are coming in for group number two? What is this? Adventure. Okay. Oh my gosh, really? That is so nice. You got between worlds and then milk and honey. So based on these three cards, this is fantastic. They're showing me here that there's going to be a golden opportunity for group number two. This exciting and golden opportunity had something to do with career for most of you, all right? Or something related to finances, a financial opportunity, especially with this milk and honey card over here. But maybe for some of you, it will also require for you to either move towards a different location. So I'm seeing that somebody watching pile number two is kind of like thinking of working abroad or overseas or moving towards a new location somewhere, all right? But this is definitely going to be a golden opportunity for you guys to earn income that will support you financially, that will provide security and growth. Maybe 
at first with the Between Worlds, you're kind of like, yeah, not sure whether should I go for it? That's the energy I'm getting with this Between Worlds. So maybe you're torn. You're not sure if this is the right choice or decision for you to be making. But I'm actually getting here that, yes, this is an exciting and a golden opportunity that you should grab. Okay? So see those bags packed, all right? You're off to travel somewhere. For others of you, it's not necessarily around career, but it can just be that maybe the good news that are coming in for you is that you are going to be, yeah, going out of town or maybe you're going to be um, going out of the country just to have a vacation or trip because again, I got the four of swords earlier which is also talking about taking a rest or taking a short break or a vacation. So I'm getting vacation for some of you as well. If you're not resonating with traveling abroad to work, okay? Because that's the energy I'm picking up. But I see you at first being a little bit scared to take a chance towards something, okay? Or it's like you don't have enough confidence. But Spirit is actually saying, Go for it. This is a golden opportunity. So let's see. What else? What good news are coming in for group number two? Okay. Got hostilities. The healing light. And then prosperity lies ahead. Okay. I feel that these two are very much connected to each other. So for some of you, if you're resonating with there's a lot of conflict or dramas going on, either it's between you and this person, or it can also be some family drama. Because again, you got the hostilities card and the healing light. So maybe there are some disagreements, misunderstandings, fights and arguments and all that, then the situation is being healed, all right? That's a good news. Peaceful resolution is also what I'm picking up. For others of you, well, this one is very straightforward from spirit. It says here, prosperity lies ahead, which is beautiful because, again, our option for this picky card reading, all of them are citrine which is a great crystal to work with to attract abundance, prosperity, or wealth. So yeah, prosperity lies ahead, especially with the milk and honey. So there's really something about financial abundance for you guys. This is so beautiful. Let's try to pull up more. What good news are coming in for group number two? Balance. All right. Power. And then freedom. Wow. I love this. So based on these three cards, group number two, let's start off with freedom card as well as power card. Just like what I said earlier, you will have the courage, all right, or the bravery to liberate yourself from anything that maybe you are still holding back from, okay? It can be related to a person or a memory from the past, but the good news is, you will have the courage and the bravery to surrender it and let it go, okay? And therefore, this will actually give you balance. It will bring you back into balance. You're also reclaiming your power. That is so beautiful. For those who are resonating with maybe you have been holding back yourself from something, from doing something, and that's because you don't have enough confidence about yourself or you're doubting yourself. I see you guys releasing that. You're liberating yourself from that thought. 
there's something about self-limiting beliefs here. I don't know what this is for, but that's good news because you are reclaiming your power, all right? You're realizing that, hey, I do have the power to change my current situation. I do have the power to free myself that doesn't give me balance. Whether it's talking about a connection or it's actually talking about a particular job, whatever that is, all right? But this is you realizing your true power to make some changes for yourself. And maybe this change that you're just about to make, it would also kind of like involve you releasing something from the past. Again, whether it's limiting belief or whether it's talking about people who's actually not on the same page with you or there's no balance in this connection. Only take what applies. Wow. All right, let's see. What else? What good news are coming in for group number two? Let's see. It is what it is. All right. Transformation. And then uniqueness. Okay. So I feel that these two, again, are very much connected to each other, group number two. So let's start off with these two cards. So with the transformation or the death card, as well as with a card, it is what it is. The good news that are coming in for you guys is that you're finally ready to accept the truth. You're finally ready to acknowledge things as they are, all right? That's why it says it is what it is. Maybe in the past, it's really hard for you to let go of something, all right? It's hard for you guys to embrace the truth, to acknowledge what is really going on. But like what I said, the good news for you is that you will be blessed with the courage to face the truth and the courage as well to let things go, to surrender and to say to yourself, well, it is what it is. All right. I can't do anything about it. I have to embrace the present moment. I have to embrace things as they are. All right. For others of you, I'm going to be reading this intuitively. Okay. I'm actually drawn to the pincers, all right? So there's something about financial pinch. So for those who are resonating with, you guys have been struggling around your finances, all right? I'm really picking out financial miracle here with a rainbow because rainbow for me, it's also talking about miracles or new hope, new beginnings, all right? So I'm getting here that, yeah, Financial miracle is part of your good news because you also got prosperity lies ahead earlier. So definitely something related to financial abundance or financial miracle. Plus, speaking of miracle, again, I'm really picking up that, yeah, somebody was able to survive something really terrible. I don't know who is this for, but I really got that. Somebody almost died. Because again, you got the death card, all right? And somebody's feeling hopeless and feeling desperate. But maybe that's the reason as to why I keep on hearing the word survival. So somebody has survived a very terrible experience here. Kind of like a near-death experience. That's also what I'm getting here. And that's part of the good news, all right? Wow. Wow. This is beautiful. All right, let's move on to the next set of cards. What good news are coming in? You got nature or Gaia. You got fear. Exactly. Oh, my gosh.
And then Ace of Cups. Okay. So what they're actually showing me here based on these three cards is this, all right? So both are talking about fear, sadness, and worries, okay? So whether this is related to what I just heard earlier, somebody's worried over someone, whether it's a sick family member or somebody who's ill or somebody was so freaking scared. Somebody survived something major, something terrible. I don't know who is this for. And it left someone feeling really scared or fearful. Like, I almost died. I keep on hearing that. Oh, my gosh. Because right above it, you got the death card and then fear. All right? But know that whether this is actually the viewer or somebody who's around you or dear to you or close to you, this person, or if this is you, you are protected, okay? Because that's also the message of this nature in Gaia card. You are being protected. Look at this dragon over here. This is actually you, all right? Wow. So there's something about survival. Now, this is not necessarily talking about like a uh, tragic accident or something. It's just basically talking about, yeah, some hardships that you have to go through, all right? Or maybe you're battling something really difficult, but because your spiritual team or the divine loves you so much, all right, you are being protected. You're going to be able to make it. You're going to be able to survive this really, really challenging situation which left you feeling so worried, sick, or you're actually really fearful, all right? So again, only take what applies. But there's going to be a new emotional experience for you, okay? Because that's the energy of the Ace of Cups, which will replace the energy of fear, sadness, or bitterness. How beautiful is that? All right, let's see. What else? What good news are coming in for group number two? Follow your dreams. Storm fields. Okay. And then you got purposeful. Oh, okay. Well, this one is very straightforward as well, group number two. I feel that this is actually related to your life purpose or your career direction. So again, what they're showing me here is that you guys will become a lot more aware. That's good news. Or you will actually gain clarity about what is it that you need to pursue or go for. All right. I'm really getting that either as well. There's going to be a new and an exciting opportunity, which will help you to realize that this is it. This is my purpose. This is what I'm longing to do. Now I know what it is. All right. That's the energy I'm getting for some of you. And then with the storm fields, again, this is talking about challenges, obstacles, all right you will actually successfully come out of the storm, all right? So just keep moving forward. That's the message I'm getting from your spiritual team. Keep your focus on your dreams, on your true purpose, okay? Do not allow yourself to be distracted by the outside forces is more like what I'm hearing or the storms around you, okay? So I feel that this is also an advice for someone out there. Don't get yourself be distracted. Stay focused on what you are meant to do. Stay focused on your dreams, your goals. Because this storm is just temporary. This storm is just a distraction. So do not allow yourself to be distracted by that. 
It's like you need to keep your blinders on, group number two. Okay? All right. Let's try to pull up. Hmm. This is quite exciting. Let's try this one. All right. You got marriage. Ooh, good news. Oh, my gosh. When this reading is all about good news, I can't believe it. You saw me shuffle. I can't make that up. <laughs> good news. And then daydream. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm actually seeing. Let's start off with a marriage card. It says sweet love couple. All right. So maybe this good news, it had something to do with love partnerships, all right? So if you're actually single right now, then the good news for you is that since you're finally able or you're just about to release the past now and you're now realizing that I don't need to limit myself, all right, that maybe there are other opportunities out there for me, they're showing me that you are going to be led towards the right type of connection. And who knows? Maybe this is actually the right person for you, okay? Especially for single. Others of you, if you are currently dating, then the good news for you is that I'm seeing you guys taking this to the next level, all right? And then if you are also married or you're already married to someone or this is your spouse, then I'm just basically picking up from spirit that the good news for you, especially if you guys had some sort of like an argument or some fights. Remember you got the hostilities card? Yeah. So there's something about um, arguments or fights. Then you guys are going to be able to save the relationship, okay? Strengthen the bond of your relationship with your partner and resolve any conflict, okay? So there's something about peace and harmony. And then what I actually heard when I saw this daydream card, somebody's really going to be shocked. Like, I can't believe this. Is this for real? I keep on hearing someone saying that. Is this for real? Am I dreaming? Because that's really what I heard when I saw this daydream card. And so what I'm actually picking up is that maybe, all right, this is something that you're just kind of like thinking of previously or in the past. That's why it says daydream. So maybe you are kind of like having some visions in your mind that this is the house that I want. And then boom, all of a sudden, you can't believe that finally it is here. Like, how did it happen? I was just trying to picture that like two years ago or a year ago. Now I already have it. So there's something about manifestation. There's something about turning your dreams into reality. And you'll be shocked or surprised that you're able to make it, all right? You are able to turn that into reality. That's a good news. And then it says here too, with a good news, miracle. So what did I say earlier? So whether this is also talking about financial miracle because that was so strong, all right? For others of you, the miracle had something to do with healing, okay? So if you're resonating with, you have been praying for someone, whether this is for your own healing or someone else's, whether it's a family member or somebody dear to you, expect miracle to happen, okay? Which will leave you feeling so shocked, okay? And that's because. You and your loved ones are divinely guided and protected. Wow. I so love this reading for group number two. It looks like this is my favorite already. But anyway, let's move on to the next set of cards. What good news are coming in for you? The Hermit. It might be a Virgo. So this can be your confirmation. Ooh, cars are flying out. Then you got the Empress, Taurus, or Libra for others of you. 
And then he got the magician. See, I was just talking about manifestation. Now he got the magician. Strong Virgo energy, by the way. So if you're a Virgo, this is your confirmation. Others of you, Taurus and Libra, as well as Aries, okay? So here's what I'm actually seeing about the good news that are coming in for you. For some of you, it had something to do with a loved one. It can be a mother figure because the Empress is actually a mother, all right? And then for others of you, they're also showing me here that part of the good news is that you are going to be able to finally discover your life purpose. Like, this is it. This is what I really wanted to do. This is my true purpose, my true calling. I keep on sharing that for someone out there, right? And that is so beautiful. Congratulations. I'm also getting here as well that spiritually you are growing. And that's because of the many hardships or battles that you need to endure or face, all right? You're growing, you're elevating. And then the Empress card is also talking about financial abundance or prosperity or any creative projects that you're working on will become very successful, okay? Or you're giving birth to new ideas or it's a birth of a new business for others of you, okay? Because Empress is also a business card. But you got the Magician card, of course. So I feel that this is also because of your powers of manifestation. And so I'm getting very strongly, just like what I heard earlier, somebody's kind of like saying, I can't believe this. I was just picturing about this few years back. And right now, it's in front of me. Like, I was able to turn that dream into reality. So I don't know who's that for. But know that you have a very strong power of manifestation and manifestation powers, all right? So magic is definitely alive in your life, all right? So success will definitely manifest for group number two, which is really, really beautiful. Success, abundance, and prosperity. Okay, so let's move on to the next set of cards now. What good news are coming in for group number two? You got flute. Are you freaking... You saw me shuffle. What did I... Oh my gosh, this is mind-blowing. You got the good news card earlier, right? Which shocked the bejesus out of me. And now you got good news. <laughs> I love the synchronicity. Then you got the bowl card, all right? And then, yeah, you got the good news. So here's what I'm actually seeing. What they're actually showing me here is that, let's start off with the flute card. So maybe... Some of you guys, either you actually got into some sort of like a fight or disagreement with someone. So if you're resonating with that, whether this is talking about your partner or someone else, or maybe you were disappointed in a friend or a lover, like what I said earlier, you're putting an end to that. Or either peace and harmony is being restored as well, okay? So that's part of the good news. Another message that's coming through as well, especially with this bull card over here, there's something about perseverance. There's actually something about determination. So maybe at one point in your life, you're just about to give up because of the many hardship or struggles that you're actually faced with or you're struggling about something that at one point you felt as if that you wanted to give up on your dreams. But spirit is actually saying, do not, all right? Do not be distracted. Keep following your dreams. And I'm actually hearing right now from spirit that for those who are resonating with, yes, I didn't give up on it, all right? Well, here's the good news. You will now begin to see and witness yourself that is a great thing that you didn't give up on your dreams, all right? Because success is actually at hand, all right? Things are shifting towards your favor. There's abundance and prosperity for you guys. Wow. 
I love this. For some of you, you will also be receiving an actual message from someone, whether it's actually coming from a person from your past. That's also what I'm hearing. Or maybe somebody that you haven't talked to for a long time, too. That's part of the good news. Oh, look at that. A sincere wish will be granted. So this is beautiful, group number two. Remember, you have a lot of cards around miracle. And then remember the four swords? I even said something like in the traditional tarot, it shows a guy praying. So maybe... You've been praying for this for a long time. You've been really seeking the help of your guides. Yeah, this wish will be granted, okay? And maybe with this needle and thread, because needle and thread is also talking about how it's so hard to accomplish it, all right? Or you have to go through the eye of the needle to overcome something in particular. But yes, you will be able to overcome it, all right? That's part of the good news. You're coming out of the storm. That's also what I'm hearing right now. And again, maybe this is actually related to some family issues because you got affairs with your family. Okay. And then you got the target, a goal-oriented person. So again, maybe for some of you, you've been wishing something related to your family, whether this is your own family or your immediate family. And I'm hearing earlier that it had something to do with, yeah, um, a family member is sick, whether it's a mother, because you got the Empress card, all right? And then you got the Target card as well, all right? So I'm really getting here because of your focus, because of your determination, and that you didn't give up. The universe is going to be blessing you with a reward. Like, great job, child. You didn't actually allowed yourself to give up just because of your face with so many troubles or so many problems, all right? That's more of like what I'm getting, okay? Beautiful. But again, this is also an advice for group number two to stay focused. Keep your focus on what's important. Keep your focus on your desires, your goals, all right? Don't allow yourself to be distracted. There's something about distraction for group number two. And that's going to be your challenge as well, all right? So anyway, let's move on. Let's pull up a fortune card for you guys before we pull up some messages. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's see. You have heaven. Nice. So let's go to page 36. It says here, unsatisfied with life, searching for happiness or messages from the heavens. Okay, this is the most spiritual card in the whole deck. And messages from the heavens are more than likely. It's also a message that you need to pay attention to some signs. Because whether this is your loved ones and spirits who's trying to connect with you or they're trying to give you some signs, whether it's in the form of repeating numbers or symbols, pay attention, okay? Especially for those who are looking for some signs or looking for some guidance. And so your spiritual team or the angels heard your cries or they actually heard your requests. And they'll be sending you some signs. So pay attention. Pay close attention, you guys. All right? And then, for some of you, you will probably soon have a dream of a loved one that has passed over. And they will appear to you looking younger and healthier. You will know that they are happier and safe where they are. Pay attention to gut feelings as intuition is higher than normal. So for others of you, I feel that this is related to those who lost somebody dear to them, okay? Because remember, you got the death card twice. And I'm actually picking up that, yeah, this loved one who passed away or who passed on will be visiting your dream. 
So maybe you've been praying for it, like you wanted to connect with this person um, in your dreams. And you'll be able to witness that this person is actually okay, that they're okay where they are in the spiritual realm. All right. Now, if it's all about career or finances, maybe some of you are actually feeling as if that you are in a rut. So the good news that are coming in for you is that I see you guys changing or switching careers, all right, or you're actually also going to be getting so much offers or some, so many offers or financial um, opportunities out there or job opportunities. And then relationship section, it says here, messages from loved ones coming through dreams, and you may even be touched by an angel with a special person coming into your life filled with pure love that uplifts you or the family. So that's another good news. So for some of you guys, maybe you'll be getting uh, a visit from your personal garden angel, right? That's another good news. And then for others of you, they're actually showing me here that you will be able to discover that you have healing abilities, all right? No wonder it got the hermit card, very spiritual card, all right? And for me, hermit is also a healer. So somebody watching this pile, and what I'm actually hearing, it's not that you are already doing this. This is for those who are just about to discover that, oh my gosh, I have healing abilities. And with this realization, this is you finally coming to an understanding that, oh my gosh, this is my purpose. This is my life purpose. This is my true calling. And maybe that's why I heard earlier, somebody's kind of like saying, I can't believe it. This is it. This is what I'm looking for. Or this is what I'm meant to do. So yeah, somebody's also going to be discovering that they are a talented psychic. Okay. <laughs> Wow, I so love this reading for group number two. So before we wrap things up, let me get some messages for you. Any message for group number two, please? You have the guilt card. All right, so let's read it. You do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love. Regardless of what you have done or what you think you failed to do, from your soul's perspective, there's neither right nor wrong. Every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom. You've done nothing wrong. So maybe somebody watching this pile, you are guilty about something, right? Or maybe... You're always kind of like seeking for some sort of like an approval from others or validation from others, all right? So again, this is a confirmation for whoever this is for. Your guides, your angels are saying, you've done nothing wrong, okay? So they're wanting for you to lovingly surrender any guilt or blame that you may have towards yourself or even towards others as well. So there you go, group number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I hope that this gave you some inspiration. It gave you some help. And yes, as always, I'll be seeing you next week. Stay positive and stay safe wherever you are. Bye-bye. All right, group number three, you have chosen this beautiful Congo citrine cluster. Let's go ahead and find out what good news are coming in for you. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which chose group number three. The Hermit. You have Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Shrinks, okay,
Then you got your three of wands. You might be seeing, yeah, the number three often. Three, three, three. You are definitely being divinely guided and protected. It's also related to the Ascended Masters, of course. And then you got Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you have Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing, group number three, about the good news that are coming in for you. Number one, what they're actually telling me is that there is a possible reunion, okay? Either the good news is that maybe this person they haven't seen for a long time, all right, whether this is a long lost friend or somebody that you were friends with back then, back in college or what, there's something about reunion. You are reuniting with someone, okay? For others of you, maybe it's not just one person, but maybe you are a group of friends, okay? I'm really picking that up. It can be three people as well, all right? Since you have the number three three times in a row, and you chose group number three as well, which is quite crazy. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. There's something about reuniting with someone, okay, that you are actually really close with. Maybe you haven't actually talked to this person for a long time, or maybe you guys lost contact or whatever, all right? But I'm really seeing that. I'm also hearing that maybe for some of you, this person is living overseas, which is why you're not able to kind of like, yeah, see each other very often. So there's something about reunion. Another message that's coming through is that the good news that are coming in for you is that you guys are also going to be led towards right type of connections, all right? There's something about collaborations and connections, especially with this three of pentacles and then three of cups. So maybe some of you are going to be meeting new people out there, new partnerships, whether it's love partnership or whether these are your new friends or group of friends. Because we see here these three ladies, you know, they're actually chatting and talking to each other over a cup of tea. So there's something about friendships as well for others of you. And then another message that's coming through is that, yeah, there's something about you guys exploring opportunities outside of where you are right now, okay? So I'm getting that maybe it involves traveling because I'm drawn to the airplane over here. And you have the strength or the courage, all right, to pursue your dreams that even though at first, and I kind of like got that for group number one. So maybe somebody's been checking out all piles. Um, you're kind of like scared. You're kind of like doubting yourself if you're going to be able to make it. Or should I actually pursue this job opportunity? All right. But yes, they're actually showing me here that this is a great and exciting opportunity for you to grab. And you will never regret it. That's more of like what I'm hearing. Okay. Another message that's coming through as well is that for those who are resonating with maybe there are a lot of fights, arguments, disagreements, or some dramas going on, the Five of Swords is in reverse. So either this is also a message that some of you are finally withdrawing yourself from anything that gives you drama and negativity, or you're releasing toxic people from your life, all right? And you are now being led towards the right type of partnerships or connections. Okay. Wow. This is so nice. All right. Let's try to pull up another set of cards. What good news are coming in for group number three? You have cycles. Okay, let's actually take a look at this card. You have never ending story.
and then walking away. Beautiful. So here's what I'm seeing, group number three three based on these three cards. So they're definitely showing me here that you're finally going to be able to walk away from anything that has left you feeling stuck. Okay. So maybe some of you are finally going to be able to close out this toxic cycle. All right, this repeating pattern with the cycle cards over here. And that's why I got the never ending story. It's kind of like you got yourself caught up in a yeah, in a negative loop is actually what I'm hearing. And so you're breaking free from that with this walking away card. For others of you, you are going to be kind of like rewriting a different story for yourself, all right? As you're also going to be walking away from something, all right? You're ready to write a new chapter of your life because you are about to close out a really tough cycle. So after walking away from this really toxic cycle, you're just about to rewrite or write a new story for yourself. You're no longer going to be seeing yourself as if that you're trapped. That's number one. And that's a good use. You're no longer going to be seeing yourself as if that you are a victim as well. Okay. You're walking away as well from some limiting beliefs or maybe some, yeah, some consciousness of lack for others of you. Or you're walking away from, again, seeing yourself as if that you are a, ver a victim of some circumstance. That's more of like what I'm getting. All right, let's see. What else? Yeah, you're also choosing peace. So this is part of your great news or good news. Either peace is actually being restored in your life as you have the courage now to walk away from some toxic situations. Remember the five of swords in reverse. Or others of you, like what I said, you are going to be putting an end to some toxic patterns, whether it's relationship patterns or the way you actually view yourself. And like what I said, by doing so, you will achieve peace of mind. Then you got communication is key. Then you have heart chakra. Okay. So for those who are also resonating with maybe you had some sort of like an argument or some conflict with a particular person, whether this is actually a friend or whether this is actually a love interest, they're actually showing me here that you and this person will have a heart to heart conversation. So there's something about resolving some conflicts, all right, or in other words, there's going to be a peaceful resolution between you and this particular person. Okay? That is beautiful. Let's try to pull up more. And maybe with a communication is key card, either this is them reaching out to you or you guys are going to be able to sort things out or you guys are going to be talking things out, talking things over. And yes, this is the result. Peace is being restored in the connection between you and this individual. All right, let's pull up another one. What good news are coming in for group number three? You have fruition. Potential. And you have great big love. Wow, this is so beautiful. So the first message is this. I'm definitely getting here that there's something around growth and connections or personal relationships. So for instance, this is just an example. And I'm also hearing it from spirit anyway, that maybe you are dating someone right now, all right? 
or maybe you've been dating for a couple of months or for five months. And so they're actually showing me here that there is going to be growth within the connection. All right. And maybe at first there are so many, yeah, kind of like blockages within the connection or some challenges. But yeah, I still see here that you guys are going to be able to surpass all of these challenges within the connection. And there's going to be growth within the connection as well. There's something about deepening of bonds for group number three. Okay. That is so beautiful. And then for others of you, this is also talking about your um, obstacles around your career, maybe, or your finances. So still the same thing. The good news that are coming in for you is that you'll be able to surpass this huge trial or this huge financial setback because they're also showing me here that sooner or later, it will be your harvest time, okay? You'll be reaping the rewards of your hard work. And mountain, it also represents strength and courage, all right? So whatever it is that you've worked hard on or your efforts, in other words, will be rewarded. That's part of your good news. Wow, this is so beautiful. Let's try to pull up another one. What good news are coming in for group number three? Oh, yes. Yeah, see? You got recognition and reward. I was just talking about you will be rewarded for your efforts. So either this is actually around your current job right now. Either you will be recognized for your hard work or your efforts at work. Or maybe some of you will be promoted as well. And this is quite interesting. You keep on getting the number three. You also got the three of pentacles twice now. All right. And again, three of pentacles is also talking about career, all right, or working with someone, collaboration. So maybe this is also part of the good news that you will be working with the right type of people or somebody's going to be of support and guidance to you as well. But for the rest of you, they're just basically showing me here that this good news has something to do as well with finding the right type of career or job for you. All right. Especially for those who are looking for one. And if you're not resonating with you're looking for a job or what you enjoy, what you currently are doing right now in your work. I tell you, you'll be recognized for your hard work. OK, so either this is also talking about a pay rise or maybe you are going to be getting some sort of like an award all right, at work. I'm getting that very strongly or promotion. All right. Let's try to pull up more. Then he got balance. But yeah, three of pentacles is also talking about serious partnerships. So I feel for group number three, if this is not about career or job, then they're definitely showing me here. Either this is a new person coming along in which this new connection or particular connection is really balanced. There is balance and harmony within this relationship. Okay. And whoever this is, is somebody who wanted something serious with you. If this is something around love and romance, because I'm really picking that up. I'm getting here as well that this person is somebody who's also willing to embrace everything about you. Not just your strengths, but also your opportunities. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And again, there's really something about peace. You keep on getting the keyword peace or harmony. Most especially for those who are resonating with maybe you got into some sort of like a fight or disagreement with someone. Okay. So peace and harmony is being restored here. You guys are going to be able to find a middle ground or compromise. That's also what I'm getting here. All right. Sorting out those differences with the sun and moon. And that's because love will win. All right. Love and compassion will win. All right. Let's try to pull it more.
you have the food card. All right. So what I'm actually getting here with the food card is maybe, all right, for some of you guys, you're actually feeling unsatisfied with your life or you feel as if that there's actually something missing. Okay. But like what I said, maybe there's going to be a new opportunity as well for group number three. And this new opportunity will replace that lack energy into fulfillment. Okay, so there's something about feeling fulfilled. There's something about feeling happy or joyful, or you feel as if that you're in the right place now, all right? So yeah, the tables are turning as well for some of you. And I'm also picking up with this food card. There's something about financial abundance. And again, our options for today's reading, all of them are citrine. And citrine is a great crystal to work with if you wanted to attract abundance, wealth, or prosperity. Okay? So, yeah, I'm really seeing here financial abundance. Let's try to pull up more. Growth. Yeah. So like what I said earlier, for some of you, this growth had something to do with relationships even. Because remember, I heard specifically from Spirit that there's something around, yeah, growth of a relationship, whether this is your present relationship with someone, deepening of bonds. Yeah. For others of you, what they're also showing me here that you are expanding. There's also a promotion, just like what I said, because right above it, you got three of pentacles. You are being recognized for your hard work, your efforts, and therefore you are going to be promoted or you will be given an offer. So that is really beautiful for someone out there. Others of you, if you are more of like resonating with you're unsatisfied with your current job situation or where you are right now, then this is a sign that you're being led towards a different direction because you're meant to grow and expand as well. Yeah, you're almost there. Group number three with a completion card. Wow, you're almost there. Okay, so hang on tight. Hang on tight because you're almost there. Let's try to pull up another card. Listening. Okay. So what I'm also hearing with this card listening is that either you will be getting some signs for others of you. So pay attention. Like what I said, either you will be seeing repeating numbers. Well, it's crazy. You keep on getting the number three and you chose the number three. All right. So you might be seeing that very often or other symbols or even through music as well. All right. For those who are also looking for some signs or for those who are resonating with you're seeking for some guidance. Know that your guides. Your ancestors or a spiritual team are giving you support. They're leading you towards a path that will give you financial abundance or financial security or even growth in your career. So pay attention to that. And also for those who are resonating with you had some sort of like a disagreement with a particular person, then I see you guys like what I said um, being able to sort things out, talking things out. And with the listening card, either this is you or the other person or both of you willing to listen to what the other has to say. All right. Like, all right, I'm going to be open to try to understand what this person is saying. All right. Instead of just trying to listen for the intention to reply. All right. You're not really listening or hearing this person out. You're just basically doing it because of you wanted to respond back to what they're actually saying. So I'm getting here that with this listening card, both of you are willing to listen to each other, listen to each other's side or point. Okay. There's something about resolving conflict here for sure for group number three. Okay. So let's try to pull up this deck. Relax. All right.
And then you got right. I feel like pulling up one more. Okay. And then you got pride. Nice. So here's what I'm actually seeing. With the relax card, again, if you notice group number three, you have a lot of cards around peace around harmony, around balance. This is part of your good news. Either you will actually be in a place um, of peace and contentment, emotional fulfillment, all right? Or you can finally, you know, relax because maybe you've been through a lot of stressful situations as well. I'm also getting here that, yeah, somebody watching this pile with this right card over here, this is actually talking about, yeah, hexes, curses, black magic, and all that. Yeah, quite interesting. And what I specifically heard is that maybe somebody watching this pile, either you felt as if that somebody may have done something towards you, all right? So if you're resonating with that in which somebody may have sent you negative energies or bad energies, evil eye, curses or whatsoever, know, all right, that you are divinely protected. Relax. That's what they're saying. Relax. You are being protected. You are safe. Maybe you need to, yeah, listen to this Bible quote. Or maybe yeah, I'm hearing that Spirit wanted me to say this for someone out there. For those who are actually resonating with, you probably felt as if that somebody's actually doing something nasty behind your back. Either they're actually doing some sort of like dark magic towards you or painful magic, curses or whatsoever. Again, you are protected. And just say to yourself, no weapon form against me shall prosper. Okay. Keep saying that. No weapon formed against me shall prosper or will prosper. Look at that. There are angels around you. They are protecting you. So I don't know who is this for, but I really got that. No wonder, while I was shuffling, I just really got this very strong sensation on my left arm. Like somebody trying to squeeze my left arm. Yeah, I'm getting a really dark, evil energy, honestly. Like somebody's trying to hurt me on my left arm. That was so crazy. And every time I do a reading for group number three, somebody probably is watching group number three who's afflicted or what. But yeah, because I notice every time I do a reading for group number three, I get nasally, which is a sign that, yeah, there's some sort of like a negative energy or somebody's afflicted as well. But anyway, I don't want to dwell on that. Let's go to the pride card. All right. So with a pride card, part of the good news for you, like what I said earlier, either you are going to be in a career or a job in which you're just feeling so contented. Okay. You're feeling so good about yourself. Look at this guy over here. All right. He's feeling like a king. He's right in front of his laptop with coffee on the side, all right? So there's something about that. There's something about um, success in your career or in your business. And then at the same time with a pride card, what I'm also hearing very strongly is that you guys are also going to be learning more about your true value, all right? Your true worth. Maybe you're not going to be lowering your standards anymore, whether this is actually talking about connections, all right? or the people that you invite into your life, or even when it comes to work or career, all right? Like you have the confidence now to ask for a pay rise or increase in salary because you know your true value or your worth. You're not lowering down your standards, okay? That's also what I'm getting with this pride card. So anyway, let's actually pull up this set of cards. All right, you have Knight of Swords.
Then you have Ace of Water, and then you got an Awakening. Okay. Wow. So for some of you, part of your good news is that you will be getting a communication for sure. So like what I said earlier, for some of you, maybe it's somebody that you haven't talked to for a long time. That's part of the good news, all right? Because the Knight of Swords is somebody who delivers a message as well. So maybe this is talking about a person that you're not in communication with for a long time. Or if it's also about career opportunity, maybe there's some good news around that, all right? Maybe there's going to be an offer as well for you. Another message that's coming through with this Ace of Cups, there is going to be a brand new beginning when it comes to love. Because it says here a romantic relationship or a deep friendship. What did I say earlier? Deepening of bonds or growth within the present relationship. And then he got a message that says a love letter. Wow, maybe somebody's going to be confessing their feelings. Oh my gosh. I just heard that right now. Yeah, somebody might be kind of like ready now to express their true feelings for someone. Or somebody around you has deep feelings for you. Oh my gosh. And then you got the awakening card. So there's also something about, again, realization. Okay. Maybe you will be realizing something as well about your situation. Especially for those who are resonating with, you're feeling stuck. Because this is also um, a sign that maybe you're feeling as if that things are not moving in your situation. And this is leaving you feeling unsatisfied. I'm getting here that there's going to be some sort of like a wake up call for others of you that maybe this is not for me. Maybe I need to explore somewhere else. All right. That's also what I'm getting. Because again, all aces, it's talking about new beginnings or new starts. So I'm really picking up here that somebody watching this pile is going to have some sort of like an aha moment or some sort of like a wake-up call that, yeah, I'm realizing that this is really not for me. I need to go somewhere else, or I need to explore something else. Whether it's talking about a new career, a job, or business, or even connections, all right? That maybe this is not the right type of connection for me. So whatever that is for you, since this is a general reading. But another message that's coming through, by the way, for those who are resonating with, you're actually feeling stuck or trapped in your situation. It's like the opposite of this card where things are finally moving. Okay. That's also part of the good news. There's movement in your situation. Okay. So what else? Let's try to pull up this deck. Kangaroo. Yeah, dissatisfaction with life. Bingo. We were just talking about that, right? Remember the food card in which we were discussing that maybe some of you are feeling unsatisfied with how things are in your life. Maybe you don't like the job that you're actually doing right now, or you're thinking of doing something else, right? Oh, wow. Just get one more. Oh, yes. And then you got the hat card. You will be playing a different role. Okay. So here's what I'm actually seeing. With this kangaroo card, there's something about security. Okay. So this is part of your good news. Either this is talking about financial security or you will be in a place of security. Or stability, whether it's actually emotional stability or security or financial security. There's something about the word security. For others of you with this dissatisfaction with life and the kangaroo card, I'm getting here that maybe since you are not liking how things are in your life or you're actually kind of like feeling as if that something is off, that maybe I need to pursue something else. I see you guys having the courage to plan things ahead, 
or to choose a different route or a different direction. Because there's going to be new opportunities that will be presented to you as well. Group number three. So watch out for that. Okay. So that's part of the good news that even though at first, it may seem to be unfortunate or really negative because of you're not liking how things are, but it's more of like a redirection for you guys. You're being led towards the right path where this new path offers not only happiness, but financial security, financial growth, or growth and stability. And then with a hat card, you will be playing a different role so, yeah, I'm really getting here. Somebody watching this pile, either you are going to be promoted, okay? Or there's going to be, yeah, a shift in your career. So either this is also part of the good news. You'll be doing something that you haven't done before, but this is something that you will enjoy. This is something that, yeah, you would really, really like. Or you would feel that this is actually my true calling or this is my true purpose. But yeah, there's really something about promotion, especially got the, remember the Three of Pentacles card, the recognition and reward card. So yeah, I won't be surprised if somebody watching this pile will be getting an offer, all right? Whether it's actually, yeah, a promotion or a higher type of, yeah, um role within the workplace so anyway let's get three more from this next set what is this marriage okay you got the casket card all right then you got the announcement card oh my gosh wow wedding bells so i don't know is this for so the good news that are coming in for you guys, for some of you, either this is about someone who's dear to you or close to you. Maybe this person is going to be delivering. Remember the Knight of Swords? Maybe this person is going to be telling you, hey, I'm getting married. All right. So that's good news. If this is not necessarily you, but for others of you, if you are already, yeah, in a relationship with someone, who knows? That's part of the good news. There's something around proposal. Okay, or like what I said with this marriage card, this is also talking about, again, commitment. So whether this person that you've been dating as well is now ready to take things to the next level or to be serious with you or is ready to commit. And if you're already married, okay, because remember, we have a lot of cards earlier in which, yeah, there's something as well around resolving conflicts. There's peace and harmony being restored. So, yeah, I'm also seeing that. That's part of the good news. And then with the cast card card, this is actually talking about the end of a difficult situation, all right? And that is beautiful. That's part of a good news. Whether this is actually talking about some difficulties that you've been experiencing in your life or a difficult um, person, <laughs> a toxic person, I don't know. Because it says here someone is going out of your life or it's an end of a situation. Okay, let's now pull up a fortune card for you. Let's see here. What good news are coming in for group number three? Let's take a look. What is this? Love. Oh, my gosh. Love, love, love. L-O-V-E. Let's go to page number two. All right. It says here, soulmate connections, sizzling romantic episodes. All right. So it says here, magnetic love attraction, soulmate connections, proposals. What did I just say earlier? Oh my gosh. And marriage potential is extremely high with this chosen card. Oh my gosh. That is crazy because you got the marriage card and then you got this kind of like wedding bell. So yeah. And so I'm getting here group number three, that this is a really strong validation for you guys. Either if you're single, then there is a potential for you to be meeting, you know, soulmate connections. And then like what I said earlier, if you're already in a relationship with someone, then you guys are 
going to be deepening or growing the relationship even more. Or maybe you guys are going to be taking this to the next level. And again, with a proposal, if you've been in a relationship as well for a long time with someone, who knows? Maybe this person is ready to get married, okay? Whoa. All right, let's go to career or finances. So it says here, this love card is also talking about or it represents growth of popularity on the work front. Well, yeah, because you got the recognition and reward card, right? So, yeah, you will be recognized, just like what I said earlier, you will be recognized for your hard work. So there's something about popularity on the work front. And your aura will also attract what you want professionally as well as personally. My gosh, it says here too, you seem to stand taller than the rest. And this will create some great promotional opportunities. So go with the flow and speak up as your ideas and contributions will be highly valued. Bingo. What did I just said earlier? My gosh, I love this. I so love this. Now, if it's all about relationships, especially that you got the card love as part of the good news, it says here, this is a time to really consider your current relationships. Take a long look at your partner, friends, and family, and really identify who is supporting and nurturing you and who is not. Remember earlier, there's a message around some of you are going to have the courage to walk away from toxic partnerships, or this connection doesn't have any balance. And that's part of the good news, all right? Because you are removing yourself from those who do not want the best for you, or who you do not enjoy spending your time with as well, okay? Because you wanted to be around people who genuinely care for you. So there is a possibility that for others of you, there's going to be new people coming in who will be of, yeah, great support to you or these are great connections that are coming into your life to replace those who are not nourishing your soul. Wow. And that's because, again, you are craving for some deeper um, soul connections and you're clearing the decks of the users and abusers as well. Wow. Group number three. I so love your reading as well. So before we end this reading, let me get a message for you. Any message for group number three, please? Oh, yes, you got positive change. That's beautiful. So this is part of your good news. Expect positive changes to happen in your life, all right? But let's also read the message. Maybe somebody will also resonate with this. So the message for you is this. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet, it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. There you go, group number three. This is so beautiful. Positive changes are on the horizon for you. And again, you're walking away from anything that's no longer serving you as well. And you are also going to be seeing some growth in your present relationships, okay? That's what I'm seeing for you guys. Or there's also promotion for others of you as well. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you some help. And I'll see you again next week. Stay safe and positive. Bye-bye.